So you're going to buy or sell and you want to see your profit as points. Right click, profit as points. This is only one point, yet it's showing 100. It's kind of annoying, but that's the way it is. You got to get used to it. <laughs> so this is 5, 8, 10 points, 11 points, 12 points. That's how it is. If you want a little indicator here um, that floats with it, this this is just this is what it looks like, but it's not there actually because I deleted it to show you. You can just go on uh, Google, show pips MT5, down, click the little download here, and then go to MetaTrader, sorry, Language Editor, Open Data Folder, go to your Indicators, then your Downloads, drag in the Show Pips, go to Downloads, just drag that onto there. Compile. Once that's compiled, you can close that out. And then drag down, go to indicators. It'll be right here. So if I drag that on, okay. Now it floats with that. You can you can change the settings, the color on whatever, but then it, it's still the weird format. Now the only thing is, is this only works if you're in a trade. If you close this trade in your history, it's gonna show as um where are we at here? Oh, didn't scroll up. It's not going to show your points. It's only going to show the dollar value profit and like how much the this pair changed. Okay, this indicator does not work. Moving average color. That sucks because it changes colored. Oh, well. The There is a way around it, and I do recommend this because it gives you so much info, and that's using the MyFX book. Um, free sign up. Do not sign up with register with Facebook or Google. Just use normal email because it will mess with the sync settings and you won't actually, it just won't work. So you do that. You go to portfolio, add account. Right. Oops. Add account. Choose the MetaTrader 5 EA. It'll download an EA. You run this, pops up with this. You're trying to find your directory for your uh, MetaTrader. So mine's in program files. It's right here. And then you choose the terminal. If you don't know where yours is, just type in, just type it in, open the file location. This is the shortcut. So you want the real file location right here, bomb. And then there's the terminal. So, okay, I have it open right now, so I got an error, but you're not going to get an error anyway. Um, once that's set up or installed, then it's going to be it's going to be here under Expert Advisors right here, or you can go to Insert Experts My FX Book. Check this box. Put in your I put my password in here. Just click OK then at the bottom. I clicked OK now. Now that's on. It says here my FX book statement uploaded. Um, now on your FX book system added here. See it says system MT five seven one five eight added successfully. That's the uh, that's this 715, this demo account I just created. So that's added successfully. Once it's added, you now need to verify it. You need to verify it. So to verify it, it you got to do, wait, where is the one that works? This is the one that work, that I like. So you take this authorization password. So your authorization password Let's go under my new account. Oh wait, I gotta go under under uh, add account, and then I can go edit verification. I take this password, and then I put go to my. Uh, 
what is it? What am I looking for? New order. What you do is you put a pending order in. You put the comment here. Let's just do a ridiculous price that it won't uh, hit today. Oh, dang it. I forgot to change the limit. I stop. Okay, there we go. And then you place it. Don't forget to put that comment there. And then here. Oh wait. No, I still that's it'll add. Just take some time. You want it to uh to have the price far enough away so it doesn't get hit right away, obviously, so it can I put the comment on, right? I'm pretty sure I did. Pretty sure I did. Wonder if it'll work if I close it and reopen it right away. I know it'll work, it'll just take take some time. I didn't mess it up, right? Authorization password. Put a comment in. It just is uh, needs some time. Doesn't show. Doesn't show. Oh, there we go. Come on. You can do it. You can verify. Actually, you don't even need to verify. Oh, man. I just realized. <sighs> well, that's okay. <laughs> uh, go there. What you, so you don't need to verify. Verifying just lets it so you can change like public permissions i can't remember why i wanted to verify oh man anyways um hey we can see what pip count point count profit loss gain on the account shows way more this shows a lot of your statistics i guess it's really nice and you can go to goals like say you want to make like 5% a day, it'll do that, and then it'll keep track. Like, if I make a trade now and make profit, it'll update update this, and you can do weekly, yearly goals and stuff. Uh, there's a lot to this uh, tracker, so I recommend it. It tells you the sharp, like, automatically calculates your sharp ratio, your profit factor, average win-loss. Like, it's really nice. Worst trade, best trade. <laughs> um, but, yeah. This is the best thing. It updates every like five minutes. So it's pretty good.